I think it's important to be aware that city success is not inevitable. Um, some of you have heard me say this before, but I like to talk about two cities which I love very much, but which are not successful cities. One is Berlin, the other is Milan. I mention these two cities for a good reason. Barcelona and Catalonia in the last 25 years have been very successful in moving up the international rankings. Yeah? Barcelona is now city number four in Europe for business, if you listen to Cushman and Wakefield Euro Cities Monitor. 25, 30 years ago, if you said to anyone which are the most important business cities in Europe, they would say London, Paris, Milan. Milan was considered the third city in Europe, maybe fourth, but certainly third or fourth. These days, Milan is considered city number 15, 16, 17, 18, after Barcelona and Madrid and Amsterdam and Frankfurt and Stockholm and Helsinki and Munich and <coughs> Brussels and many other cities. Why is it that Milan has gone from being city number three in Europe to being city number 20 in Europe? Let's think about that in a minute. Similarly, Berlin. When the Berlin Wall came down and a reunification occurred and the German government invested a huge amount of money in the redevelopment of Berlin, where I was on Tuesday this week, the anticipation was that Berlin would become a great world city in Central Europe, a city of headquarters of companies, a decision-taking center, a center of media, uh, a producer of knowledge for the whole continent, that we would rebalance the European system to have a strong capital city in Central Europe to balance London and Paris and the other big cities. But it didn't happen, did it? Berlin lost about half a million population the companies didn't come, they didn't move to Berlin, lots of space was empty. Now Berlin has something interesting and exciting happening in creativity and they started to attract international talent which is very good. But there was clearly a problem in Berlin. So we have two cities where popular opinion has been these cities will be successful. Berlin is now city number 30 in Europe more or less. Milan city number 20 in Europe. So it's not inevitable that cities will succeed. What was it that went wrong in Milan and Berlin? Well, I think my personal opinion is that they failed to solve any of the problems that I described before. In Milano, there has been no policy to solve the problem of congestion or pollution. There has been no problem to reconcile land use. There has been no approach to promoting a clear vision of what is Milan in the world. There has been no metropolitan coordination. There hasn't been a long-term relationship between Milano and Lombardia, creating a powerful partnership between the regional government and the city government. And the result is they've gone down. 